I bet most fans, when they go to bed, can see all these fixtures in their minds anyway. Um, it starts tonight, doesn't it, for Arsenal? Huge victory psychologically uh, against Wolves after a horrible week for them. Can they build on that at home tonight? I think as soon as people realise that Arsenal were, were there in this run-in, that is the game away at Tottenham where many of the Arsenal fans have a little bit of fear uh, around that fixture at home against Bournemouth, away at Manchester United. And we've spoken about the Everton one in, in the last few weeks we don't know what's going to be riding on that. Maybe Everton will be safe by then, but that could prove to be huge. In terms of Liverpool, well, it's um, a nice tasty derby for them to get them up and running in these final sets of fixtures. Tottenham again uh, have a, a say, don't they, in all three of these teams. Um, and Villa, we know how good they can be with Wolves on the final day. And and. Manchester City still to play Tottenham away. The, the hoodoo around Pep sort of disappeared slightly in that FA Cup game, but it's still not a necessarily a happy hunting ground for Manchester City. Um, and then there are um, other teams with maybe slightly less to play for Forest aside in those final few fixtures. I mean, who's... It, we've been talking about who's the easiest, who's got the, the, the best or the worst, and then we have a Sunday like we did the other week with Villa and Crystal Palace winning, so mm -hmm. who are we to predict anything? Certainly not me. Um, <laughs> because I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, uh, for Arsenal, I'm thinking Bournemouth have found a bit of form from somewhere. Manchester United will certainly want to go out at Old Trafford on a, on a high note. And Everton, who knows what they'll be playing for on the, on the final day of the season. But it's the next two, is it? Particularly Sunday, you would think... Chelsea hot and cold, although they do turn it on perhaps against the teams in the top six. It's the teams in the bottom six that have been their Achilles heel, isn't it? Yeah, it has. I mean, looking at that week that Arsenal have got coming up, I think Spurs is the really big one. They've not got a, a great record at Tottenham. They actually won there last season, but that was the first time they'd won there in the league since 2014. And obviously Spurs have their own issues to fight for. They're trying to get into the top four. They absolutely do not want to aid Arsenal's title charge. Then, as you say, Rob, Chelsea. I mean, who knows what Chelsea side are, are going to turn up. They've been really good on occasion against top six sides this season. Should have beaten Arsenal at Stamford Bridge earlier in the year. They kind of threw it away in the last 15 minutes. Obviously, we're going to talk about Chelsea a little bit without Cole Palmer, perhaps. So, And even if Cole Palmer was playing, Arsenal are a better team. They should take care of business at home to Chelsea. But that Spurs game is absolutely huge. 